Hi, I'm Gregor and I'm working on the expense report refactoring kata. We already added the new expense type lunch and are now refactoring the code further. We discovered the primitive obsession design smell. There is some behavior that we would like to move to the expenses, but the expenses are just a primitive list. So maybe we can create a domain specific expenses object that contains the list of expenses and then we can move the behavior to this domain object and run recipe to achieve that is to first start by extending the list so creating an inheritance and then refactor from the inheritance to a composition and i will show you how this works so first i want to create a new class expenses and the expenses really is just a array list of expense, right? And I want to use the expenses instead of the list of expenses right here in the code or everywhere in the code, basically. So let's do a type migration. That's uh, control shift F6. And now it has a problem because I'm not using it correctly in my test, so I need to fix that too. I will ignore that for now. And now we can jump to the test and fix that. How do I create an empty expenses? Well, let's just do new expenses. That should work. Um, here it gets a little bit trickier. What I can do is I can create a constructor that allows these arguments. So let's do it like this and then I have to create the constructor here. And no, I do not want 20 arguments. I will just use the array dot notation. And I want to keep the Will this collapse? I don't think so. Let's see. And I think I can do something like this dot add all arrays as list expense. And this should be plural. Let's see if the test work. Tests are still green. That's good. So we have achieved an inheritance now. We have a expenses object and we are now able to move this behavior to the expenses. That's interesting. Why does it not work? Let's, let's check the method. So yeah, the method still uses the list of expense. Uh, let's check, let's change that to expenses too. This should work around the tests. Yeah. And now I'm able to finally move it to the expenses. And the same with the get total. Yes. So now we have this variable here and this variable here. It's just used down there. Since it's just such a simple expression, I think I can even inline it. I'm fine with that and with the total. Let's run the test for safety purposes. Yeah, it, it works, that's fine. And you see, actually right now, all the printer is doing is printing. So I am pretty happy with that. But maybe I'm not yet happy with the expenses because it, it uses inheritance i would like to have this a composition so how, how can i fix that i will just add a new field private list expenses yeah we can call it that that's fine it will be empty 
to begin with. And in case of this constructor, we will add them all to the expense list as well. So basically I can just duplicate this line. Notice how I just keep this. If I removed it now, it would break the code. And this is not what I want. I want to make lots of small steps that maintain a working state. So I will remove it later when I'm ready to do so. And this is also known as a parallel change refactoring. Now that I have added all the expenses to the expense list, I should be able to use the expense list here instead of this. And this should work. Yes. And I can do the same here with the this. And this should work. Let's try that. Yeah, this works. Am I now able to re even remove this extends? Probably not. Oh, first I have to remove that. Does this work? I think not because I'm looping over it. Yes, it does not work because I am looping over it in my production code. So how do I solve that? First, I will revert. So to have it working again, instead of extends, I will say implements iterable. Then I have to implement, let's create the iterator and the iterator is expense list dot iterator. And I can, I think I can now remove that. Will the code work now? No, because It is an iterable of expense. That's why. And now it works again. That's nice. So we are safely refactored from an inheritance to a composition. And this may be final. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, probably it can even do this and replace it with some. If you like this more, you can do that. I think the same with this loop. You can do a sum instead. But yeah, it, it's not a big deal really. Anything else we can do here? Let's take a look at the report. Of course, we could move out those glasses to upper level. And we could make the system out a parameter so you can print it somewhere else. But those things are not very interesting, I think. Let me commit that. This is underlined in red. Does it work? Yeah, it does work. So I don't know why it's unaligned. We extracted expenses and domain class. Introduce expenses domain class. Object. Yeah, I think we can conclude with this cutter. I like it very much. I like this size. It's it's pretty small. It's it's kind of like the gilded rose, but just smaller. And 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 it's possible to finish this in much less time. And I hope you liked it too. And of course, I'm interested in how you would have approached the kata. Maybe leave me a comment. I'm Gregor. See you next time.